Hey guys, Manuel here with Legit Reviews. So today I'm going to be going over the uh, GeForce Experience. It's a pretty neat um, program that allows you to uh, download game ready drivers. Um, it allows for game optimization and to share screenshots, clips, and uh, it lets you go back um, between 30 seconds and 20 minutes to replay what you were just doing or what, what you were playing. And um, one of the neat features about the GeForce experience is with whatever you're doing, as long as you have the program open, you just press Alt-Z and it brings up the screen overlay. Here's the instant replay that I was mentioned uh, that I mentioned earlier. Um, like you can customize it to huh stop recording and customize. I'm not recording, am I? Hmm, weird. Oh, okay. It was on. So, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. You could record. I mean. The replay length can be between 30 seconds and 20 minutes. The default is set at 5 minutes, um, quality high at 60 frames per second. Let me go back. Um, one of the neat fe another neat feature is that you can broadcast uh, to Twitch or YouTube, and you know you can choose the quality here, uh, FPS, resolution, bitrate. And it's uh, it's actually a pretty nice. Um, it seems like a pretty nice uh, program so far. Uh, a lot of the things I like is that um, if you if you look at the home screen, it shows you all uh, the games that you have downloaded, and um, you just open up the details, and it t it shows you the optimal settings, and. Um, I do have it at, I optimized it, but I changed one thing just so that I could um, record the video for this, and it's windowed borderless, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. Well, I don't think it makes a difference at all, actually. And um, so right now, I'm going to walk you guys through uh, recording a video. I'm going to start with recording on the desktop, on the home screen. So let's go ahead and start recording. Before I do this, um, one thing that I should mention is that in order to record, you have to go to the preferences, privacy control, and uh, switch this to yes because um, it's defaulted at no. So you won't be able to record uh, or do any of, use any of these features without switching that setting. Now let's see. Don't have a webcam. Mike. Uh, Mike will be always on. Now we are going to start recording. Recording has started. And the game we're going to play is Overwatch. You know, you click play on the GeForce Experience. I believe it brings up this. Let's see. Okay, I think I clicked it too many times. Oh, yeah, so it brings up the uh, uh, the Blizzard screen or the Battle.net screen. Then go ahead and click play. So right now I have uh, another um, recording software recording uh, in addition to the uh, GeForce Experience. But one of the one of the things I like the most about the GeForce Experience is how easy you can open up the screen overlay. You know, it's just Alt Z, and then you can. Um, you can choose between recording, broadcasting, and your instant replay. 
So we're going to go ahead and go into a quick match. Alright, so I believe it took almost two minutes to find this game. Um, yeah, okay. now we are running at, we're not even in the game yet, we're running at 40 FPS. But I do have two recording programs <laughs> set up, uh, recording right now. So I can anticipate, uh, you know, a larger FPS drop as we go into the game. All right, so we're running at drop down to 37. For the most part, it's still running pretty smooth. Um, I'm recording at 30 FPS, so yeah, you may see some delay. Alright, so I think it's enough of this game. Now we're going to stop the recording, stop and save. And here is the gallery. Hmm. Okay, yeah, here's the gallery. I believe this would be the, yeah, this is the one that we just recorded. Back. Now I'm gonna try instant replay. Find out how it works. All right. So for instant replay, I'm going to do a five-minute replay. So I think we could just turn it on and simply go into a game. Then from there, uh, whenever I want to, I can open up the screen overlay and hit save. And it should save the last five minutes. We're going to test it out with, uh, let's see what game we can test it out with. These games are haven't been updated in a while. Let's do it with, C no, not CSGO. What other games do I have? Yeah, let's go CSGO.
I think I may need to switch up the settings a bit. Switch it to a uh, full screen windowed mode so that the recording program will pick it up. Yeah. Options, video settings. And switching from full screen to full screen windowed. And here we go. Alright. Gonna go into a deathmatch just to make it quick. You know what? I'm gonna switch this from five minutes to um, from 5 minutes to 30 seconds, or 1 minute. Now, saving, save the last minute, now we go to gallery, and here it is, so let's go ahead and play this. Alright, so it plays as soon as you get into the game, I believe. Alright, so that pretty much sums up the GeForce experience. Um, I'm going to be posting this on the uh, GeForce experience review on legitreviews.com. So, hopefully, you guys check it out.